Hmm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Arkham Horror. Uh, let's get into this. I'm in a bit of a rush this morning, so I'm going to try and go pretty quick today. So I want to get this episode out there. Uh, it's Yorick's first turn, and basically, we have nothing going on of interest. We do have the environment, you know, the urban environment using, uh, you know, with the Mismatonic U, allowing us to get clues. But there's nothing else really going on. The only thing is we have four monsters. One, two, three, four, maybe five monsters. Which means that in the if there's a monster surge, we are in trouble. So we've got to kill tons of monsters this turn. We're going to kill at least three. Okay, anyway, let's get into this. So I think for Yorick, he's going to go one, two, three. Into the magic shop. It's just going to stay like that. And Rita's got a pretty interesting turn. Firstly, let's roll for her, her, you know, retainer. She gets two bucks. Okay, so that's a pass. She's then going to give all her money to Daisy. Actually, you know what? She's going to take Daisy's money. She's going to give Daisy the Elder Sign and Astral Travel and bind monster. Uh, I think she'll keep bind monster actually. And then she will stay where she is. Daisy on the other hand is going to move. She's going to go one, two down to here and fight this thing. Now she has an absolute crap ton of stuff. Now one of the things that I haven't been doing but I really should since it is Daisy. Daisy is one of the most broken characters in the game by far in my opinion. Through this Iron Will, sanity re reduction is reduced by one. For example, she can voice of Ra every single turn for no cost. So why would she ever not do that? She wouldn't is the answer. So boom, voice of Ra. Nice. So she's now plus one on all skill checks and there's no sanity cost. So she does that every turn. Also, what if she has got Storm of Spirits, but I wanted to give her that A chemical thing. Uh, and I forgot that the sanity cost that I, I thought it had sanity cost zero, but it was actually sanity cost zero because of her ability. I was going to park her at the curiosity shop and just dig for elder signs. But, uh, I think I'll just stick with a uh, spirit of storms. Now she has four movement and she's gone one, two. So she has another two movement. So she's going to, uh, to Book of the Believer, which is just uh, three dice, but four dice because of Voice of Ra. And she gets a thing, so she draws another spell. Enchant weapon, nice. You know what, she did, uh, she should have done that before she moved, so she could still give that to her. So she looked at the book, gave the, gave the spell, gave the spell away, then moved. And that means that we actually have to place a stamina token on this card, because you only get to use it twice. Oh, you also get a clue. Draw one spell and gain a clue. That's nice. If only she had one more speed point, she'd be able to... Uh, if she could get six speed. She's got one speed here, but we haven't been able to use it. If we get one more speed, we could do move and do two casts at once. That'd be so awesome. Anyway, now we've got to kill this thing. So she's got two focus. So we're going to put a focus up by one. So that's five. She has six with voice of Ra. So that is five. My, that's five die. She's 
she has physical immunity. Your blammo, that's a pass, and now she needs to kill this thing. From the darkened alley, a patch of darkness seems to detach itself, curling on the bricks and raising to block our path. <laughs> so we're going to use Storm of Spirits, which is a modifier minus one, which means we get four dice. Your blammo, and it's got a sanity cost of zero, which is awesome. Your blam, okay, and that's one, so we passed. So this spell is basically like Wither, except it allows us to use our law instead of our fight. So that way you can have your will maxed out and have your law maxed out. So she's actually got five fight plus the three. So that's eight. Now it's minus two. So we have six dice to get two successes, which isn't the best, but it's not really bad either. Bam. And that's a pass. It's one success. We need two successes to pass this. So when you make a fight check, add plus one to each die you roll for purposes of checking for successes. So this is easy to misunderstand. This is a combat check I'm doing, not a fight check, even though it uses the fight skill. Okay. So I can't actually use this. Uh, I don't want to spend her clues because we need to have six clues. I'm just going to take the two hits and roll again. What's going on here? How many did I start with? Five? Five minus two is three, minus two is one. That's right. Bam. Come on. That is unbelievable. Well, that was horrendous. But we did manage to kill it finally. Gee. That was just terribly bad. Okay, so while I was doing the editing, I realized I completely ruined this girl's turn. She actually started with four stamina, so she would have gone got, gotten knocked out. <laughs> I can't even speak. She actually started with four stamina, so she would have gotten knocked out. Plus, I forgot to use the voice of Ra. So she, is, she was rolling five... Five law plus one for voice of Ra plus three one two three minus two, which means every roll I did should have had one extra die in it. So I'm just going to redo her combat rolls and uh, see if uh, we get a better result because it was completely screwed up. Normally I don't do massive take backs. Okay, that's a pass. I'm going to uh, take off two stamina as well. Normally I don't do big massive take backs uh, unless the error is really grievous, but that was just such a mess because she like, if I did, if I did it correctly during the error, I would have gotten knocked out. Plus I spent her clues, plus I wasn't rolling enough dice to begin with, so I feel it's fine to redo it. I, I, I'll take a stamina hit anyway, just to as a punishment. So that's that. Okay, so this guy, he gets uh, two bucks and he rolls his die. No ones, please. No ones. Yeah, blam. Okay. So he is going to fight the back of key. So he's got the rifle. He's also got enchant weapon. Okay, so he's going to go. It's only one sanity loss, so he's going to use two focus, one focus to go up here. That gives him one die to roll for sanity. Beautiful. 
It shrieked and flapped its wings. I thought of the empty shell of a beetle and the soft loam of rotting earth. It cocked its carapace head at me, black teeth clicking against each other. <laughs> and then we're going to use the rifle, which is uh, 5 plus 1 for combat is 6. So there's no modifier. We only need one hit to do this. So this should be an easy win, hopefully. Boom, where was that roll for Daisy? Thank you very much. Michael is going to go one, two, three, and take out this guy. Now he's only got a focus of one, so that's all we can do. She screamed and fired again, but still the thing shambled on, teeth dripping as it groaned its horrible cry. Okay, so this is uh, will minus one is two die. You play mode. Beautiful. That's a pass. And then it's four fight plus six with the machine gun. That gives us ten minus one. Oh, I'm still really annoyed about Daisy's rolling. That was just terrible. And he's dead, you blam. We need five trophies for him. Okay, this girl is another one that's really not doing what we want it to do. We want her to get lots of clues. So where's a good place to get clues? The science building. So she's going to start making her way to... Okay, so that's one, two, three into the sewer lodge first we'll leave everything the same now let's put up her fight by one angie is now going to go one two three into the unnameable and while she's there she's going to pick up this spell and this spell yeah come over here Now, I still have this tome. I'm going to give this to Daisy, see if we can get a plus speed for her. I'm also going to give the Elder Sign then to George. And that be that, man. And now Skids O'Toole is going to go one, two, three to the science building and pick up. Actually, no, he's not. He's going to go one, two, three to the black cave and pick up the two clues there. Look at all his clues. We've got to send him into a gate ASAP. So he just picked up two more clues, which puts two more clues on here. He's already got three. That means this is now passed. So Got to add these to the card drawer. Yoink. Before I give you answers, be certain that you truly wish to hear them, said the old man. It's not whether or not I want to know what happened to my friend. I need to know, old timer. Skid gains plus one law and draws one spell. Skid's maximum sanity is increased by one, and he immediately gains one sanity. So that's pretty cool. So we get a spell. Shroud. That's a pretty good spell. And we get extra sanity. Nice. And that is the end of that. Okay. Oh, I'm still annoyed about Daisy. That's so annoying. Okay. Yorick's turn. Yorick as at the magic shoppy. Miriam Breacher, the shopkeeper, peers closely at your face, then screams, They've marked you! Get out! Get out! And throws you out. Move to the street and lose one's sanity. Ooh. That's no good. Rita. She's at the curiosity shop, so that is one, two, three... Ritual Blade, Alien Device. Now, the Alien Device is interesting. That has the X keyword. See how it's got X in the bottom left-hand corner? 
And that basically means that uh, the X just means it's like a pendant or a ring or something, and you can use that in addition to the normal two hands. So this is just a permanent two to combat regardless. So it's a very good card, and we're going to buy it. One, two, three, four, five. This is also a plus two to combat and a plus two under spells. So it's actually exactly the same, except this uses a hand. That's the big difference. Okay. Daisy is in the street, so she doesn't do anything. George is in the... He's not in the street. He should be in the unnameable. Having some kind of slight issue. There we go. So he is going to close the gate using the elder sign that he got given. So that's minus one sanity, uh, minus one sanity, minus one stamina. Oh, and that's not actually discarded, is it? It is sent to the box. And he gets the gate. And that is that. We have our first sealed gate. Now there are gate bursts in this version of the game. So uh, we have to be careful about that. Okay. Now Glenn's turn, he's in the French Hill, so he doesn't do anything. She is in the Lodge. Yeah, the Lodge. You hear the quiet sounds of an intruder. If you investigate, you find a woman. Didn't we do this? Rudy Standard. Well, didn't we do this last turn? Huh, look at this. This is interesting. Okay, so... See the icon here, that's from Dunwich, and this is from the core set. They both have the exact same Twilight encounter to get the Rudy Standish ally. Or very similar, but the rest of the card's different. Interesting. Okay, so we actually know that Rudy is not in the deck, so we don't really care about this. We will do the fight check, because we might get a... If we get a success, we'll get a, uh, a unique item out of it. But uh, we can't actually... Oh, nice. So take a ally card. If it's not available, draw a unique item. So let's get a unique item. King in yellow. Beautiful. That's exactly what she wanted to. Bam. Okay, now Angie's going to do an interesting one. She's going to do Astral Travel. Instead of having Encounter, cast a discard to immediately enter an open gate anywhere in Arkham. So she's going to do that. So she's got a law of four, and it's minus one, so that gives her three. But why is her law so low? Whatever. And that's minus one sanity. <laughs> what a nice roll. Okay, your blammo, and she's going to go through the witch house, which sends her to the, another dimension. Oh, uh, you know what else I forgot? Uh, basically, Mystic Knights was one of the coolest little uh, relationship cards. I love this card. Every time you get a spell with two or more successes, each investigator may gain a sanity. So we tap that. She gains a sanity. And she's already at max. And Skids is at the Black Cave. You stumble upon a pocket of bad A. Coughing, you struggle to stagger three. Make a will minus one check. If you fail, lose three stamina. Wow. Uh, will is three, so that is two. We really would like to pass this. Excellent. And that is that. Oh, Daisy's turn was so brutal. One, two, three. She's off to the hospital next turn. She needs money though. Okay, not good. So what's my plan now is to... Oh, Mythos card, Yabamo. Okay, now see how these have the red letters? 
that means that it's a gate burst, which means even if it's sealed, it will open. But uh, there's no one at the woods, so you blammo. That's uh, and two monsters. What have we got here? Oh, my gal and a ghost. Excellent, nice. My gals are awesome monsters because they give you unique items when you beat them. Pluses and moons move. We have no pluses or moons. Yeah. A clue at the historical society. Until the end of the next turn, any time an investigator draws one or more unique items for any reason, he draws one fewer cards to a minimum of zero. Leave this card in play to indicate this. Okay, so that's bad. Still not a bad... That's a pretty alright mythos phase. We get another doom token, obviously. Okay. So... That could have gone a lot better. We did some absolutely horrendous rolling for Daisy and she had Voice of Ra activated. It was just terrible. Okay, so that's that. I will see you guys next time.